Hi guys, I've got more on the um, pole shift and the approaching uh, Nibiru, uh, well, what you should do. Uh, basically, I wanted to just go ahead and cover this. This is just a video that you can view on YouTube. Uh, just the person, just it's um, published by the survivalist uh, back in September 2011, so it's not quite a year old yet. <coughs> and I uh, basically have like the tectonic plates of the whole earth and how they will be shift shifted uh, during the the pole the pole shift. Uh, and they're made up, and the earth is made up of different plates, uh, but I'll leave a link to that and you can view this video here. Um, this article here is how stuff works, and it says, are the earth's poles shifting in 2012? Um, okay, this is what I picture that I have a hypothesis of how it might take place. Uh, some of us say that the world will end in fire and some say ice. Well, being a Christian, I know that it will end another way. So uh, hold on tight and uh, don't be too scared because it's going to have a happy ending. <laughs> uh, but uh, Jesus said that all these things will have to come to pass before he returns. And that in that meantime, uh, we uh, are to uh, pray and uh, repent and turn back to the Lord. Um, because this is a time of testing for all of us uh, to see whether you uh, want the Lord or not. Or go your own way, basically. Uh, I think because this is going to be a testing time for all of us. Uh, so I'll just leave this uh, article here. What it basically goes through with are the different types of predictions given by uh, secular um, say, um, uh, prophets uh, like well Nostradamus, Edgar Casey, and, and all them. You know, uh, they weren't Christian, uh, but they were what you call. Um, they were they were seers. They could see like these things happening. Uh, but I don't get into that stuff like that. And then you have the Mayan long count calendar, and and all that. So you so you're following me there. So, uh, I'm sure that you've seen something or heard something about that so far. But uh, what it is is that this is more of scientific evidence of a. Uh, coming apocalypse and uh, so what uh, what they're saying is that the most remarkable of this that they have chosen uh, to fog is the pole shift hypothesis in which the earth's crust and the mantle which is the alamos layers move as one piece and the pole shift might send the poles sliding towards the the equator swing North America forward or produce any arrangement that might result from turning a globe in your, in your hands. People have been batting around some version of the, the pole shift though and so the plate tectonics and pole shifts interact and are governed by the same forces but the pole shifts in which the outer other shell of the world moves as one piece produces very different results than plate tectonics in which the pieces of the earth's crust bounces, grinds, and slides, uh, opening seas, building mountain ranges, and rearranging continents. And that's what's going to happen when we experience this pole shift. Okay. So uh, this would be the increase of certain things like earthquakes uh, because uh, Jesus said that there will be an uh, increase of earthquakes in diverse places or in different places and various places around the, the planet and this is what we've been experiencing. 
and you re can read all this account in Matthew 24 if you haven't already okay now if a large pull shift does occur says there will be a redistribution of land and water it will cause would be nothing short of cataclysmic okay so that's what we're going to have to face in short it means that there will be earthquakes strange weather patterns and massive tsunamis capable of drying parts of continents and possibly gaps in the planet's magnetic field over a shield against um, harmful cosmic rays from the sun. In long terms, the redistribution of land and waters in the tropics, subtropics, and poles will fundamentally alter ocean currents and the heat balance of the earth, resulting in worldwide uh, uh, climatic uh, ships, which means that, uh, for example, the uh, ice caps will melt and reform elsewhere because they will get warmer and then they'll melt and remain melted uh, driving the sea levels down or up uh, my computer's kind of slow tonight and you see the anatomy of the earth how it's uh, where you have the uh, intermantle inside and the mantle and so on and so forth when you get all, all the way up to the earth's crust. So this will give you an idea of the uh, different kinds of layers. Um, okay, it's just to understand what a pole shift is, uh, some geologists call it a true polar wander or TPW. It, it helps to have a clear picture of how the earth is put together as you see in the diagram. It says the earth is in a solid ball of rock. It consists of uh, concentric layers, each with its own heat and density characteristics. And the outer layer is the crust that makes up the rocky and interlocking pieces. Now this aluminum silicate plates float like rafts atop a molten outer mantle, which surrounds a more liquid inner mantle. Okay, further in, a liquid nickel iron outer core and encompasses the Earth's solid iron inner core, plus another way that the Earth consists of a um, solid shell and so on. And the most of the Earth's um, inner heat is stored in the mantle, and the temperature causes convection. And the same process as there's a pot of boiling water, except it takes place over hundreds of kilometers and involves that Dr. Evil would call liquid hot magma. I can't uh, do his voice. I'm not going to try. <laughs> Since the hot magma rises towards the crust while cooling and denser uh, materials of substance, subducted uh, oceanic plates uh, sink towards the core and so on. Convection drives tectonic processes and also redistributes the inner mass of the earth and so on. And it was like uh, something that would happen like in a glacier or ice age and um, it would return the uh, sea as a melt of water. And the, the motion will be like a boat that reacts to a person existing or climbing aboard only much slower. Okay. There's really more to this so I'll just leave a link and you all can read this about the polar shift because I'm almost running out of time and I think that's it um, they have sources where you can look up more information in regards to this so basically what I'm saying is something is about to take place and the powers that be on this earth know it and those that are uh, waging the war against the rest of us in the world and I can't remember where I got, I got this from but they pointed me to it and it's uh, I think there's a law called the world's prophecy 
New World Order and World News and Prophecy. Okay, this is a pictures. I don't know how recent they are, but it's United Nations vehicles on U.S. soil. Now, sometime last year that there was a, uh, someone showed a picture, I think it was from Google Earth, showing vehicles, UN vehicles down in Florida at an airport. So, there are things that they're very seriously planning here. Could it be like Nibiru approaching some type of a cataclysmic going to happen? Uh, if you see here that these Red Cross vehicles here, UN, uh, since these photos are actual vehicles, and these vehicles are coming into our ports, namely Port Beaumont in Texas. So in, if you're in the Port Beaumont, Texas area, there you go. There's your white vehicles again, UN vehicles. And they're plainly marked, too. You see, uh, this is a UN military police. So they all want a one world government, you guys. They're really serious about this. And is this event, cataclysmic event, going to usher in even closer the one world government? We have ambulances. We have different kinds of ambulances. Buses. Who are they, are they going to put on the buses, right? And trucks. And missile launchers. Wow. What do they need a missile launcher for? Okay. Well, anyway, you guys want to know a little bit more about the United Nations and what they have planned for us? This guy, he wrote numbers of books, uh, numerous books about exposing the governments like uh, the uh, creature at Jekyll Island which exposes the uh, Federal Reserve. Um, his name is G. Edward Griffin and he exposes the United Nations. So you uh, gotta listen to this video if you haven't already. And because we don't really need these guys on, on American soil. We don't. They don't even belong here. And, but it was all part of a plan and it all began back in 1871. So I just, you know, end it here with this video and I have to get on to the next one. Uh, take care you guys. Uh, links are in the info bar. And uh, till next video, I'll talk to you later. Jesus loves you guys and so do I. So if you don't know him today, get to know him today. We may not have another tomorrow. Bye-bye now.